What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Russo Retro Show. My name is Rue, and you are watching Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Oh, this is like part four or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> well, in the last episode, we just beat the Ice Golem and restored the power of the Crystal of Water. So today, we are reaping the benefits of restoring Aquaria back to its natural state. Very awesome. And it looks like these guys have everything to sell now, so that's pretty cool. You can get potions here, uh, bombs, different things. Uh, just right away, uh, the whole the whole area now has been completely restored. The water's back. No more ice. We won't see the ice anymore. I'm kind of kind of wish the ice would come back, but it's not. <laughs> but anyway, so let's talk to Phoebe. She left earlier, and uh, have you met her grandfather under the tunnels of the house? No, we haven't yet. So we should probably do that today. Yeah, she left right after we destroyed the ice golem together, which was awesome. And uh, now we're gonna go, well, let's go explore a little bit. We're gonna take a little walk around the town here first. I believe there are um, some things we can do here. Let's talk to this lady here. Yes, we are very happy with the steel helmet. Thank you very much. I am going to get your brown chest one more time. <laughs> Even though it only had refreshers in it. So you got a little downstairs area. We'll come back to that later. That's uh, a nice little something to remember for, for later on. Sorry if I'm slurring my words today. I've had a few drinks tonight. This is one of those episodes, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of those times. <laughs> Here we go. So let's talk to everyone. Spencer is a good friend of Captain Max. They're both kind of weird. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it's a very weird place. But now we can go down the waterfall. Yay! <laughs> Tried to do that last time, and uh, yeah, it didn't work very well. But if you walk under the house, you would notice that there's these little slots here. Welcome to Spencer's place. <laughs> I've been waiting for this episode. So I can talk about <laughs> So I can talk about how Spencer's place to me and maybe it's because there I think there was an 80s show back in the day called Spencer's Place. Maybe that's what why I'm thinking about this, but with the music that's going on right now. Just kind of think in your mind. Spencer's place. You know. <laughs> like a, like a, like an eighties television soap opera. <laughs> Welcome to Spencer's Place. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, well, you know what? In the last episode, I made mention of this song not making an appearance a whole bunch, but I will come back to Spencer's Place a whole bunch. So this song does actually make a reoccurrence uh, in the in the series here, so cool. Yes, Phoebe and I restored the crystal of water's light. I am indeed the knight in the prophecy. The shield used by the knight in the days gone by, Captain Mac found it, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we've heard that name before. Max was studying a prophecy on his way back. His ship ended up on a dried up ledge. But that's no problem. If we dig from here, we'll be able to reach him. So, okay, so this is a crucial story moment. We got the Venus key. That's going to be useful over there in the focus tower. And he mentions Fireberg there. Fireberg is the next town we're going to be going to. Spoiler alert. A little bit. But yeah, Captain Mac, uh, his uh, crucialness to our quest. Crucialness? Is that a word? To our quest is uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna come out. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna happen later. It's gonna happen later. So just remember that uh, for the later portions of the game. For now, though, our main goal is to uh, start saving the crystal of fire. That is obviously our next objective. But there's some little things that we can get. There might be some chests over here. Let's go check out where what uh, right over here where Spencer was talking about. Okay, so you can see right over there to your left, there is a ship just kind of hanging out right there on the ledge. Uh, that would be Captain Mac's ship that he's talking about. I would, I would believe that Captain Mac is still there, so... Uh, yeah, we gotta go save him. It would be nice. <laughs> That's Kaylee's father. Kaylee was our first partner from part one. So, yeah. She's like one of our... One of my favorites, at least. I, I, I know. I know. They're all my favorites, but... <laughs> Kaylee's awesome. Tristan's awesome. And we're about to meet a friend here coming up that uh, that is also awesome. So... Prepare your body. We're going to make our way back outside. Uh, go back to the top part of Aquaria. All enjoying the nice somber music here. A Spencer's Place. God, it's not, it's either it's either an 80s TV soap opera or a bad porno. I don't know. <laughs> it's one or the other. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, mic quality here and there in the, some of the videos that I've been doing. I know that... Uh, I think I've got it down to a right proper level, so uh, 
apologies for some of the static that you could hear. If you're listening through headphones, you'll you'll hear it. If you're listening through a desktop computer, you probably won't hear it too well. But here's some battlegrounds, battlefields. Excuse me, I keep calling it battlegrounds. I know battlefields that uh, I'm gonna pass up for now, but I will come back to them. I'm gonna destroy every battlefield in this game. This is the Wintry Temple, not to be confused with the Wintry Cave that we went to earlier. And it doesn't look like there's much to do here, but there is a crest in the middle of that room. So let's remember that. Jump, jump, <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Yeah, that's the Gemini crest or something, I think. I don't know, I can't exactly remember. Either way, we gotta head back to the focus tower. Let's go back to the focus tower. And we got the Venus key just a little while ago, so let's put that to good use. I believe we can put that to good use here. If not, it's in the next area. I can't exactly remember, but I believe it's here. Yeah, I'm just looking around kind of to see if there's a, a door that I might have missed. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Some awful news made Captain Mac race from his home. Anyway, seek Reuben and Fireberg. Okay. Say, what's this statue for? <laughs> okay. Welcome to Chapter 3, my friends. The Crystal of Fire. If you guys are following me on Instagram, I've started an Instagram page. And, uh... To all you new followers from that, welcome. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are enjoying your time here. Met some good friends over there. Some old friends. Uh, re reoccurred? Yeah. <laughs> re reoccurred? Yeah. I'm trying to get better at not speaking bad English when I do these. But uh, yeah, if you're just now joining the Rooster Retro fan club, I uh, don't speak English very well. <laughs> Most of the time. But anyway, okay, so yeah. Uh, that was an obvious hint to move that block. Well, pretty much right there where that little, yeah, where that marker is. Boom. Good. You're, you're set. But anyway, for going through there, we get the mighty blizzard spell. Blizzard's going to be obviously useful in a fire area. <laughs> in case you didn't know. All right. Two good treasures here in one episode. That's awesome. And I think I went out the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, again, to reiterate, when I play these games, I always do the gameplay first. I play through the entire games first. I do the commentary secondary. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to go back through the tower, I believe. And then, yeah, go around to where we just moved that block. And, oh, that's not correct either. Oh, we did just get that coin, though. Okay, so let's use the coin. That we just got that river coin, I believe it's called the river coin. Yes, that's the way. That's the way. We'll go back out down this way and open the door without, you know, we have to get the brown chest. <laughs> totally maxed out. I love that noise. That's such a fun sound. <laughs> it sounds like a wet fart. <laughs> In case you aren't privy to the, the information on this show, we like fart jokes here. But yes, there you go. Move the block. Use the block, excuse me, that we moved earlier to our advantage. Go around the left side here. Ah, uh, is there anything on the right? Let's go check. Let's go check, just to make sure. It's been a little while since I played this game all the way through. Okay, so nothing there. I just want to double check, make sure. Okay, all right, it's a dead end. I've played this game many times in my life, but only recently have I done it, you know, in like, what, 2019, so. Yeah, please. Excuse my mistakes and things. I'll try to cut out the parts that are, are really obvious, you know, fuck-ups or anything like that. Excuse my language, sorry. We reserve our cursing for profanity warning chef with Harvey, who I am also watching on the side screen right now on my side monitor. <laughs> All right, look at this. More battlefields, and there's some earthquakes happening every time we step on a tile. That's kind of weird. Here's a new town, though. Welcome to Fireburg. And this is probably one of my favorite town themes of any town themes in Final Fantasy games. It's really awesome. Ooh, where do we go first? This random old man wants to sell us some explosives. I'll buy one. Yeah, there we go. I'll buy one. Because <laughs> I wasted one. The volcano seemed odd, so my husband Aaron climbed the volcano, blah, blah, blah. And a boulder is keeping us from saving her husband. Okay. I know what I know what's gonna happen there. That wasn't the house I wanted to go into first. I actually wanted to go into another house first, but let's go here to the inn and talk to this very well. Hold on, hold that thought. Let's check our stats. Make sure I had all that correct. Okay, we did get some new stuff from that 
Yeah, I haven't saved my game in a while either. <laughs> Just in case. Seize. This is a very, very important vendor right here. This is probably the most useful thing we can do. I think 10 will do for now. Uh, might as well go for 10. How about one cure potion there? <laughs> hey, look, it's our buddy Tristam. My favorite guy. My favorite dude. And some nice rock and roll music for your ears. You want to listen to this band? We absolutely want to listen to this band. Let's fucking rock. Yes. Damn good jams. Nice to see you again, kid. All right, so yeah, he kind of just says the same thing. He's going to be useful here in a couple minutes. Just wait for it. But yeah, Tristam's here. Tristam's just chilling in Firebird. What a good time for everybody to be hanging out. All our friends are here. Very nice. This guy sells bombs. <laughs> Mask, unless you see the monsters through the gas or the volcano. Okay. Very uh, similar to another item we've already gotten. But if we talk to this nice lady here, yes, I will absolutely buy a battle axe for 500 gold. Because I think, yeah, chop, chop, chop. <laughs> if you go downstairs here, though, you'll find this uh, another Gemini crest, I believe. One of the crests. That we can't do anything else with right now. So just remember it, save it, store it for later. Yeah, so what I was talking about in the last episode about getting the Night Sword, I believe, we got in the Ice Palace. Yeah, so it's already been outclassed. That's it. Once we got that axe, that's it. That axe now has outclassed the sword, which I feel is kind of a downplay in this game. I wish, I wish this game had a... God, I wish this game had a proper sequel. I've always thought about it, like, to go back and... Uh, what's it? What, what's what's the what's the uh, what's the software called? RPG Maker. Yeah, go back in RPG Maker and like do a proper sequel to Mystic Quest. Full on parties, full on swords and equipment. Anyways, let's talk to Ruben. This is Ruben. Yes, we've heard about the Crystal of Fire multiple times now. And like all the people that we met, <laughs> which I'm sure every single fucking party member we met are terrorists. <laughs> half of them have given me bombs. The other half of them we met in caves. <laughs> Anyways, Ruben joined. This is the first guy, I think, besides Kaylee we met in a town. So that's cool. I believe he's the last party member that we're going to meet. We've met all the party members now. We've met everybody in the game. Uh, was it Kaylee, Tristam, Phoebe, Ruben? Yeah, yeah, that's it. This door right here is locked. So, huh, if only we knew someone who could open doors, <laughs> who I was just talking about. Let's go to the hotel and uh, talk to our good buddy, Tristan. Tristan would probably be the man to talk to about that. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? We went to the house in the pit, but the guy won't let us in. Oh, you guys want in? Then take this. All right, sweet, multi-key. Nice to see you again, kid. I love Tristan, man. He is the dopest dope dude ever. He's your party bro for parties. He'd be like, um, Edge from Final Fantasy IV or something like that. It'd be great. And the door opened. All right, so who's this coward? I ran when I saw the monsters in the volcano. A huge boulder fell and trapped Eren. Only a Mega Grenade can free him. And well, how do you use him? Well, you just throw it. Great. <laughs> Go through the abandoned mine. Okay. All right. Yeah. Easy as that. Now our bombs have projectile properties. And that is the Mobius Crest. Again, remember, for later. Nothing we can do with it right now. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for teaching me how to use a bomb. <laughs> Why can't I have thrown them the entire time of this game? But, yeah. That's going to be the last uh, bomb upgrade that we get. So, if you may have noticed at this point, uh, weapons and armor and things are done in, 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 uh, uh, in, in threes, you know. You're gonna have three swords, three axes, three bombs, three claws, three pieces of armor, three helmets, three charms, yeah. Pretty predictable. Alright, here is, uh, one of those battlefields. Now that I've got Reuben with me, I might as well go through these. Some new enemies here that, uh, well, whatever that was. The Plant plant Man? Plant Man. I missed the uh, name of the other thing. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, obviously, Plant Man and all tree-like substances are weak to axe. <laughs> and is always going to move through from the first battle to the last battle. We got these, uh, Flarzards? <laughs> Flazard. Yeah, Flazards. <laughs> Flazard. I don't know how I'm going to say that. We're going to have to think about this. Leave it in the comments down below how you think I should say Flazard? Flazard? Flazard or Flazard? Or slur my words more with beer. Barrel. We'll put our nice blizzard spell here to use. Water spell, obviously, and a fire zone they're going to be weak to. So that's good. We cleaned them out, and we got 900 gold. Useless gold. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so let's go clear out some of the battlefields that I passed up before. I'll probably do them in a row, I guess, going down. I'll go to the other ones later. The, uh, the ones down in uh, Aquaria Realm. I'll go to that later. We haven't seen the last of those. But anyway, first battle and the last battle. It seems to be a tree. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of repeating the battles here. So that's pretty good. What did we get from this one? Besides nine gold, cleaned them out, and got the Gemini Crest. Very nice. That's something we've been seeing for a while now. We'll put that to use again, like I said, later. Or maybe not. I don't know. Might come back to it. Stingrat. That was his name. Stingrat. Ruben is obviously uh, a heavy hitter right now. His main uh, ability is to fight. <laughs> he is an attacker. You want to use him for fighting all the time. Uh, in this ROM hack, though, he does have some spells. He's got the fire spell. Uh, he's got the life spell, I'm sure. Probably the heal spell, something like that. I don't know. I haven't gone to the menu yet. But he has different... Yeah, stuff that's gonna obviously help us out in the next area. And here's a jelly, so this is another slime mob that we probably won't see for a while. Again, another retraction from earlier. I know I said, uh, probably in the same episode, the Mint Mints. <laughs> we immediately saw them again. <laughs> right after I said we wouldn't even see them again. Alright, so, yeah. You know what you get on the Rooster Retro Show. Hope you guys check out some profanity warning on our show as well. Harvey does the profanity warning in the morning. Profanity warning in the morning. I like that. That's got a ring to it. <laughs> He's playing it right now. I'm watching him on the uh, side monitor right now. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. So, so our statistics right now there with uh, Ruben. Ruben being in our party. I probably did the uh, switch screen here in the middle so you wouldn't see it again in my good editing. Yes. But yeah, I uh, made sure that his stats were appropriate for our level right now. And we are going to go take a rest. Probably a good idea. Might as well spend some money. Not like there's anything else we can do with it. <laughs> Besides using it to ends and maybe buying seeds. I think I bought all the seeds I'm going to need to. Though, this is the most useful spot in the game. Come to Fireberg for all your needs. Absolutely. Alright, so we beat some battlefields. There's one more left right here. Might as well take care of it. First and last, as always. We got some red caps. Again, another reskin of the mint mint or the brownie. Whatever you want to think. They're a little bit closer to the brownie. I think their uh, their flesh tone is different. <laughs> oh great, he confused me. Perfect. Just what I like. Oh, Ruben with a 666. Very nice. And we got an unexpected attack this time. That's probably one of the first times this has happened. Where they actually Oh god, okay, they put me they put Ruben to sleep. <laughs> Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, preemptives, but this is actually kind of tight right here, this battle. They're using a lot of their status ailments against us. 900-something plus damage. Eat it. And the trip six with Ruben to finish them off. Very nice. Unlike, uh, well, yeah, unlike other RPGs in the Final Fantasy genre, the... Uh, the status ailments don't usually carry over, except for a few of them. I think blind carries over. Confusion does not. Thank fuck. Confusion does not carry over. Anyways, welcome to the mine. This is the mine area. And once again, the, one of my favorite songs is playing in this area. So that's very nice. We got some reskins of the skeleton. This is the red bone, another new enemy. Bombs should be very useful. Yeah, so let's use some bombs. Ruben will take care of one of them at least every time. So that's pretty good. And as long as you have the bombs on one single target, you should be fine. And there's no accuracy def uh, deficiency at all. 
<laughs> Not like I needed to be up close, but I'll throw the bomb. <laughs> okay, so there's definitely gonna be some battle skipping <laughs> in this little area here. But before that happens, we're gonna take on some flazards. However you say it, flazards. And a mad tree, or whatever it is. <sighs> Pretty easy to take out as long as you plan your fight here a little bit. Have Reuben take care of the harder enemies, which would be the blizzard. And have Benjamin take care of the tree because they're weak against axe attack. Actually, I didn't mention this yet. Reuben's uh, morning star is an axe. It's treated as an axe attack. So definitely use that to your advantage in uh, any of the upcoming battles here shortly. Oh yeah, wipe him out, wipe him out. Goddamn confusion. Maybe use Quake for no reason, but at least I used it on the enemy. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that so often. Please. Damn red caps. Alright, so, yeah, um, and another thing I may have made mention of, I'm not sure if I did or not, but if you have the claw, uh, as your accessible weapon, when you cast a spell, you actually deal more damage with spell magic. It doesn't matter what claw you have, your claw is always gonna give you, uh, spell, spell, spell plus. Yeah, whatever that word is. Anyway, here's another new enemy. Here's some zombies. They look like mummies, actually, but they're called zombies. I'm sure we will see a reskin later. Uh, I would believe they're weak to fire, but it didn't seem like that worked very well. They're also definitely starting to paralyze attack, so we've got to weaken down at this point. And the poison root. Poison is usually one of the things that, uh, in regular Final Fantasy games, that do get carried over when you are out of battle. <laughs> but in this game, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. You, you can just leave the battle and... Oh, no. I take that back. Holy shit. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of confusion again. God damn it. Sorry. Totally wrong information. Yeah, poison does carry over. Okay, you know what I was thinking of? It's poison uh, when you are... When, when, when you walk, that's what I'm thinking of. Poison doesn't affect you when you walk in this game. So if you are afflicted with the poison status ailment, if you walk, it doesn't uh, drain your health like it does in every other Final Fantasy game. So there you go. That's what I meant, fart. <laughs> fart sounds. Welcome to the fart show. And over there on that end, it's the same freaking enemies. So uh, let's just wipe them clean. Goodbye. Goodbye. And one more time. Maybe one more time. Boom. Yeah, I broke my chest rule. Don't care. Got heal potions. Anyways. Just enjoy the music, man. Just enjoy the song right now. It's a really good song. I mean, listen to it. <laughs> Alright, conveyor belts galore. Oh, I'm gonna totally get lost here. So you can go down these. And, um... Here's some more battles. It looks like we have another explosive door, but hmm, which way do I want to go? Not exactly sure. Might as well take care of one of these first. Okay, here's some battles. We got another battle with a red bone and a zombie this time. Joining in on the battle. So yeah, have Reuben always hit the most difficult enemy, which in this instance I believe is probably that mummy zombie thing. They don't seem to do a whole lot of damage, but they will put me to sleep apparently. But it's kind of a unique attack. I don't see that very often. Oh, he'll punch Reuben, though. Yeah, the damage is not that crucial. Not that crucial at all. Anyway, we also got a negligible amount of experience. <laughs> uh, what a fun, what a fun time tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Mystic Quest as much as I am playing it. I've had a really good time playing this. I know it's a very simple RPG, but. It really is a good time. The story might also be very simple, but it's just really fun, man. It's just really, really, really fun time. Good days. <laughs> Alright. Rocked a little bit of experience there. And let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, look at that. More monsters. Of course. Alright, we got a triple group here of Flazards. So, I might as well use all my AoE... <laughs> Which also means bombs. <laughs> but Ruben will take care of the side damage, and now that we weaken them, we can have Benjamin also take care of a, a lesser, lesser enemy, I guess. Now, boom, done. 
It's called strategy. There is a little bit of strategy in this game, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it does exist. Here we go with another group of red caps and one flazard. Oh, was it 666 or 68 something? Oh shit. 668? I don't even know. <laughs> oh great, more confusion to more sleep. Yay, I'd rather sleep than confusion, that's for damn sure. Casting the life spell right now just to make sure I have an entirely full heal. Oh, great timing though, right there for a critical. Your kick does nothing to me. <laughs> All right, Morningstar attack. There we go, that's the trip six. I knew I wasn't completely dumb. I can still see things. Oh yeah. Man, Ruben is the devil. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get into another fight with the zombies. We'll take them out with quickness. I could use the cure spell against them actually, I believe at this point. That would hurt them because they're considered an undead. Oh, what the, what the hell? He just cloned himself. Isn't that fun? Well, either way, we destroyed his cohort. <laughs> and I'm strong against their paralyzed attack, so with their counters, thank the Lord that we got that earlier. <laughs> That's one of the armors we picked up. I believe it was the one we got in the Ice Pyramid that uh, prevents paralysis. Paralysis, excuse me. Ooh, we have a very nice chest guarded by some more red bones. We'll take them out. Let's see, it's bomb time for you. Yeah, because, oh crap, okay. That's fine, Ruben already went first. No problem there, destroyed. And what do we get for our achievement? The Charm Claw, very nice, very nice. I don't really use this item a lot, or this weapon, I should say, a lot. Uh, again, it's very useful if you use it, um, when casting spells. If you have it active while you cast a spell, it, it boosts your statistics. Just having it active. You don't even need to be using it as a weapon. Just having it active is good enough. Well, let's try it out though. We'll see what it does. It also uh, can distribute some status ailments. Oh, we got a crit. Well, that just totally killed him. <laughs> the freaking zombie multiplied itself, damn it. But yeah, that charm claw can also, um, yeah, see, there we go. It's strong against our paralyzed. It distributes some definite, um, some ailments. Absolutely. Absolutely. Which is pretty awesome. So this is our second claw upgrade of the game. We've already had, what, two sword upgrades, one axe upgrade. Yeah, yeah, one sword upgrade, one claw upgrade, three, yeah, all three bombs are done. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting used to it. I'm just trying to figure it all out. More of these bastards. So yeah, just use the same strategies that we were doing the entire, uh, the entire Let's Play here. <laughs> I almost called it a stream like I'm streaming it, but I'm not. All right, Axe Attack will do the job. Don't really know if there's another chest over here. I'm imagining there probably is a chest over this way, though. Probably a brown one. I think we've got all the useful items out of here. I believe it was just the Charm Claw that we wanted to get. The boss over here is kind of useful uh, if you use that claw when you're, like I said, casting your spells and stuff like that. We're doing okay on health. Ruben's looking a little low, but might as well use a cure spell while we're at it. Chop that red mint, whatever he is. Red cap, sorry. Red mint. <laughs> mint mint. Red, red brownie. And done. Claw up and go down over this way. We'll kill the skeleton over here. The two red bones. Again, same strategy. Just bomb them. You'll kind of start getting used to a feeling here in this game where, where you'll uh, get into a groove of doing the same thing with the same enemies. It can get a little repetitive sometimes, but it's good. It's good strategy to kind of like figure that out. Like, like I said, this game isn't completely devoid of strategy whatsoever. I mean, it is an easy RPG. It's an entry level RPG, but. It has its moments, so take it as you will. <laughs> However you want to do it. We used the charm claw on that guy, and it still didn't kill the red cap. But yeah, probably would have been better to use the axe. I would imagine. 
Look at the axe is doing way better for it. But still, the crit rate is like pretty good. <laughs> That's the, what the third third time we've had a crit with the claw. Pretty nice. So enjoy it right now. This is probably the only time I'm gonna be using it. Okay, so it looks like there's no ladder right here. No little hidden areas. But where is over there? They are off a little bit. And I can't go up that way, so let's go back around the way we came. I'll go back out and see if I can find a way over there. Yeah, as I said in the last episode, you really don't need maps. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, we can uh, finish off these guys over here. Yeah, done. Done deal. Just wipe them out. We already fought them. Okay, so there's nothing. There's nothing. Just get the experience. Might as well clear everything out. And we'll climb back up. Now, okay... I'm a little lost trying to remember where... We're trying to find the boss right now, basically, because I've already got the weapon out of this area. The main weapon. <sighs> I'm just trying to find the boss right now. I believe it's the Jin, the, the Genie Jin, something like that. <laughs> oh, he tried to drop a little poison on me, but he failed. Let's have Ruben take care of that. Thank you, Ruben. And we can't go back up the... Yeah, you can't go back up the <laughs> conveyor belt that we went on before. We'll go back down. Uh, I'm trying to remember my way. Okay, so here's another enemy we haven't fought yet. Well, it has been an enemy we fought, but... <laughs> one that I've left alive. I bet you take care of the red cap. Ruben take care of the harder enemies. What are we at? Level 19, level 24? Okay, yeah, so the split is definitely... There's a definite gap right here. We're gonna have Ruben for a while, though. Ruben's gonna be with us throughout the entirety of the Fire Crystal chapter. That's not really a spoiler, it's just letting you know that he's gonna be here for a while. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the characters a little bit. Uh, I know I've, I've touched a little bit on emo Phoebe. <laughs> Phoebe is a bit of an emo. Ruben is kind of a... I would imagine, you know, him in real life to be like a... Uh, you know, like a lifer, you know, like a let's go and get him kind of guy, you know. I put my pants on with two feet, you know, <laughs> that kind of guy. Tristam is more of the uh, shady ninja, which is great. Kaylee is your obvious tree hugger. And Benjamin is the, uh, well, I would say silent protagonist, but he has a couple lines of dialogue in this game, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool for me. I, uh, I really don't have a preference when it comes to the silent protagonist or not, you know, I like, uh, obviously I'm playing Chrono Trigger right now still, if, you know, while, while we're doing this series. This is series one of Rooster Retro Shows. <laughs> the saga, the next saga will be coming up soon with Earthbound and FF1. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, uh, silent protagonist thing has never really bothered me that much. Nor has the opposite side. Like I said, I like my hero to have a voice. Uh, games like Breath of Fire kind of do it both ways, you know what I mean? Like, in uh, Breath of Fire 1, especially, you, you know, your, your main character doesn't really talk a whole lot. But then eventually, when you pick up another character, he does. He does have some lines of dialogue, and it's it's there. You know, very few amounts, but yeah, it's there. Mm. And hell, actually, I take it back. Even, you know what? No, I was going to say, well, Chrono, Chrono technically does. Mm. Chrono technically does. But we'll get there when we get there on that Let's Play. Whenever I figure out how I'm going to do that. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Defeating enemies, getting through the mines. I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get through these mines. I just want to make sure that I'm defeating all the enemies, at least most of the enemies. Yeah, I'm just finding more and more and more. And it is the same enemies each time. Red bones and zombies and whatever groups they are combined with each other. But yeah, yeah, same strategies here each time. Ruben takes out the strong guy. Oh, let's use Benjamin. Oh yeah, oh, I didn't even... Shoot, I, I missed that, I guess. They are weak to water attack. That's nice. In the actual version of the game, we would have that at this time. The Blizzard spell. We got it in the Focus Tower. In this mod hack that I'm playing, though, our uh, companions may or may not have certain spells. But yeah, we'll go ahead and wipe out that battle there. I'll go ahead and wipe this one out, too. Yeah. All right, trying to find my way to the boss. Where is the damn boss? This should not be this difficult. And I believe I've already gone up here. But just in case. Okay. So yeah. I was totally lost. Let's move on. <laughs> Go down this way. 
if you want to get to the boss. Across this conveyor belt and make your way to the farthest right of the room that we can. So uh, whatever that entails, we'll go ahead and go up this little part here. Can't go that portion to the right, but that's okay. Just keep making your way around because this conveyor belt will take you there. And I believe it's just a short journey south. Boom, there we go. There we go. All right, sorry that took so damn long. Anyways, it's boss time now with the Jin and his two cohorts, the Red Bones. As always, I like to care, take bleh, bleh. <laughs> As always, I like to take care. It wouldn't be a Rooster Retro episode if I didn't. <laughs> episode? Damn it, if I didn't fuck up the English language. It's the Jin and his two cohorts. Now we're down to one by the time I mess all that English language up. Take a healing round here. Make sure Benjamin is usually going to be your healer. At this point in the game, too, I think, uh, even though it is a statistic based number or a percentage. Benjamin can usually entirely heal your party, so think of him as a paladin. Benjamin's a paladin. He can heal, he can fight. His spells are okay. They're there. You know, they're just there. <laughs> Alright, your spell did not work on me, Mr. Jen. He's weak against water attack, obviously, because this is a fire area. Ruben is strong against fire attack, so actually that did a nice bit of damage to him. That's not really that good. I didn't like it. Keep your claw active, though, if you want to have your spells do the most damage. That Hypno Sleep will probably work, yeah, it probably works against uh, Reuben. Does not work very well against Benjamin. Yeah, keep up with the spells, keep up with the attacks. Uh, when we're at this area here... Area? That's not the right word. Yeah, I am not... I am not strong against fire attack. Oh, but we got a nice crit with the Night Sword, though, that's very nice. Yeah, total single heal. Might as well. Great double fire. Oh yeah, look at that. That's uh, yeah. It's obvious when you don't have the um, the armor to make sure that you're okay. <laughs> you will die. Ooh, the dragon cut. Okay, that's not good. That's a very powerful physical attack that avoids armor, I believe. Uh, any spell damage that we have, it totally avoids it. That's just a physical brain buster. <laughs> He's gonna duel the fire on us again. Great. Benjamin is totally weak to that shit. Gotta heal Benjamin. Might as well heal both of us, though. I believe if you do the multi-healing, it should still, like I said, do the same. Oh, actually, we don't even have a choice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Defeated the Jin. Goodbye. So I believe that means we can now save Ruben's father. Oh, let's check out all these brown chests. We're already full up on explosives. We got some cure potions. Explosives. Heal potions, very nice. One of my favorites. We're close enough to pull up the boulder. Stand back, Dad! Boom. <laughs> and we have recklessly endangered all the Denzians of subjects down below. <laughs> Everyone below that boulder has just died. It, like, totally rolled onto the bone dungeon, probably. All right, let's go tell Ruben's mom that uh, we saved, we saved her husband, Ruben's father, Aaron. Arian. How do you pronounce it? Awesome. We did it. We did the thing. We did what we set out to do. Isn't it awesome when you complete an adventure? But anyway, let's go down this way. Down the little thing and back out the way we came. If you follow it all the way to the left, you'll get out of here. Pretty easy. Just follow along or go back in the video if you need to see it. However, the earthquakes are still active. So something also to keep in mind. Seems like that's a running theme. We solve one problem only for the other problem to still be there. I wonder what that means. Maybe it means we need to save a crystal or some shit. <laughs> we'll take a rest at the end. Make sure our HP is back to normal. 100% health. HP. MP capacity. All that goodness. Very awesome. Alright. Let's go talk to Ruben's mom. And let her know that we saved her husband. Who looks like he's in bed. Thank you, Arian made it back. Aaron, Arian, whatever. More refreshers, thank you. And Ruben's dad, what do you got to say? I forgot to tell you. The crystal of fire is in the lava dome. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for that information. It's, <laughs> it's like, I had no idea that we were gonna go for another crystal. I mean, fuck me, right? I didn't know. 
Anyways, thank you for watching the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and we will see you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. See you next time.